Hey, hey. Bearcat, what do you think of the new GT motors that we got today, huh? What do you think of them? Are they nice? Well, they are black, so. Okay, get down. Get going. All the way. Get going. The cat. Look what came today. We got the Grand Turbo Emax. Uh, improved quality or better quality uh, Emax motors, the top of the line, I guess, was close to it. And here it is. This is uh, one of them I took out here. 74 grams without all the extra gear that comes with it, like the prop adapter that goes on this end. So this is about 74 grams. The RC timer is about 65 grams. Then when you put on the prop adapter and stuff, it gets up to about 70. So these are much larger motors, but they're really not considerably heavy. Um, they're probably if it... Who's <coughs> Bearcat? One third larger than the RC timer motors. And uh, when they're side by side, you can see stator size is about one third more. But they should make a huge difference, and uh, they sound really smooth. I ran this one up, and it sounded really, really good. And uh, we're going to basically convert over the 450 frame to these, so it'll be all black now, which is pretty cool. And uh, should have a lot more lifting power, and I'll be able to lift larger batteries now. That's the issue wasn't lifting this quad as it is; it was lifting it with the 5,000 mAh battery. It would get sluggish, and I think that it just requires more power from the larger batteries to get to the motors, and the motors to be able to lift that. So I got these larger motors, and it might mean going to 5,000 mAh batteries now. It might mean running 6,000 mAh or two. 3,000 or two four thousands or that kind of thing <clears throat> because you're going to have to overcome that uh, weight of the extra power basically. You get to a certain point with smaller batteries and uh, the weight of the battery just overcomes your motor's capability of lifting it. That's what I've discovered from trial and error at least and I've kept bumping up to larger and better motors each time and these were about I think about twenty something dollars uh, a piece so they do have Japanese bearings, uh, supposedly, and a larger shaft, so it will definitely be less of a bending risk to the motor, and uh, hopefully it'll be a stronger motor in the lift. And also, we'll check the OSD from when we were running these RC timer motors, and we'll check the draw, and then we'll check the draw when the OSD is running with these larger motors now, so that we'll see how much more amperage these are pulling. I was pulling about 21, 19 to 22 hovering and flying around and we'll see what these larger motors uh, draw from the uh, the resources of the battery uh, probably around 23 to 27 maybe 28 I'm thinking but who knows they might be 10 amps each and go right up to 40 um, but we'll find out should be a neat experiment and uh, I got four fresh motors and these motors if uh, this works these motors will go into the carbon fiber frame because I just had the uh, good luck buy motors in there that were all beat up and stuff and weren't working properly so this is a fresh set that I know works so that if I put this on the carbon fiber quad now uh, with the other free flight board uh, that's been tested uh, they'll work uh, and it will, I can eliminate one more thing that's causing the issue with that quadcopter uh, and it may be the plush 30s then but if the motors work fine then uh, on this quad and then they don't work on the other quad then the plush 30s aren't calibrated properly. So there you go, we're going to uh, try to get these together. Very impressed by the foam packaging. Super impressed. And this is tight in the box so you have to sort of destroy the box to get it out but very very well designed foam uh, packaging these motors so some care has been taken so I'm hoping that they will be an efficient motor and uh, there you go Grand Turbo Emax 2218 09 and a black cat wanting to fly the quadcopter